This game doesn't have a very good title. Well, certainly it gets across the point that it's a puzzle game, but that's more a label than a name. And dimension, I mean, what does that even mean? That just, it isn't very descriptive, and it's even less creative. Now, that might sound like nitpicking, but I only mention it as a warning, because the game to which this forgettable title has been unfortunately pasted is way better than its two words express. Or, or don't express. This is, wait for it, Puzzle Dimension. Ugh, Puzzle Dimension. At least, at least pretend there are fireworks going off or something. Now, fortunately, things get a lot more interesting when you actually start playing, a state from which returning is most difficult. Now, poorly named or not, this is one dimension you won't want to leave. Developed by the Swedish studio Doctor Entertainment, Puzzle Dimension was released to the PC, Mac, and PlayStation Network. We're playing it on the PS3, but no matter which platform you go with, Puzzle Dimension is an awesome puzzler with a really interesting mix of ideas. You play Puzzle Dimension as a shiny golden ball. The ball is never given a name, so I'm assuming that part is up to you. Which is a good thing, because if the game's name is that boring, I can't even imagine what they would have come up with for the shiny golden ball. I guess, probably something like, Paul the Ball. That would be terrible. The good thing is that all the energy that Dr. Entertainment saved in the naming department was put to very good use in terms of the game's design. This is a very clever puzzle game with a very simple premise. Roll around, grab the sunflowers, exit stage left. Or right. Or upside freaking down. This game is awesome! In terms of its design, Puzzle Dimension is kind of like the arcade and NES classic Marble Madness mixed with the tile levels from Super Mario Galaxy. Each stage is an intricate collection of square tiles, becoming progressively more complex as the game wears on. But the challenge in navigating these structures comes not only from their designs, but from the variety of tiles that comprise them. For example, you can only roll across some of the tiles once before they crumble into the abyss. Some squares are frozen solid, and the ice prevents your ball from stopping. There's a variety of these tiles that force you to carefully plan your route, throw in the shapes of the structures themselves, and Puzzle Dimension really forces you to think spatially and problem solve. And fortunately, Puzzle Dimension starts slow. It introduces you to its complex ideas very slowly, ensuring you don't become too frustrated too soon. By the time things get more challenging, you're well equipped to conquer its conundrums. The progression through the game's 100 levels is very satisfying. You always feel like you can figure it out with just one more try, and that's the hallmark of any great puzzle game. There's no timer, but you do have an incentive to finish as quickly as possible. The longer you can roll without stopping, for example, the higher your combo will be. You can also earn bonus points for rolling over every possible tile, which transforms them from pixels into shiny new magic tiles. So the presentation is also great. The game has a nice, minimalist style, and the music is deliciously retro. In fact, I gotta tell you, if this thing had some extra content, uh, perhaps a level creator, this is the kind of game I'd be happy to pay retail price for. And as it is, at the PSN price of $9.99, this is an easy game to recommend to Puzzler fans. It's the fantastic, if vaguely named, Puzzle Dimension. <laughs>